Tej is a generic name for a number of Hindu festivals that are celebrated by women mainly in Nepal and North India. Hariali Tej and Hartali Ka Tej welcome the monsoon season and are celebrated primarily by girls and women, with songs, dancing and prayer rituals. The monsoon festivals of Tej are primarily dedicated to Goddess Parvati and her union with Lord Shiva. Etymology Tej refers to the third day that falls every month after the new moon Amavasya, and the third day after the full moon night of every month. The monsoon festivals of Tej include Hariali Tej, Kajari Tej and Hartali Ka Tej. Tej refers to the monsoon festivals, observed particularly in western and northern states of India and Nepal. The festivals celebrate the bounty of nature, arrival of clouds and rain, greenery and birds with social activity, rituals and customs. The festivals for women, include dancing, singing, getting together with friends and telling stories, dressing up with henna-colored hands and feet, wearing red, green or orange clothes, sharing festive foods, and playing under trees on swings on Hariali Tej. The festivals are dedicated, in many parts of India and Nepal, to poverty. The types of Tej Tej festivals are traditionally observed by women to celebrate the monsoons, on the third day of the Indian month of Shravan, and on the third days of the waning and waxing moon of the Indian month of Bhadrapada. Women also pray to Goddess Parvati seeking the wellness of their husband, children and their own self. <laughs> Hariali Tej. Hariali Tej is celebrated on the third day of the bright half of the North Indian lunar month of Shravana. As Shravana or Sawan month falls during monsoon or rainy season when the surroundings become green, the Shravana Tej is also called Hariali Tej, green Tej. A fast is kept and the focus is the moon. The Hariali Tej festival is also celebrated to remember the reunion of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati, the day when Lord Shiva accepted Goddess Parvati as his wife. Goddess Parvati fasted and was austere for many years and was accepted by Lord Shiva as his wife in her 108th birth. Goddess Parvati is also known as Tej Mata, Sindara Tej. On Tej festival, married daughters receive the gifts by her mother, such clothes, bangles, bindi, mahandi, etc. Gua. A special sweet is given to her on this day. These gifts are known as Sindara. Topic: <laughs> Observance in India of Hariali Tej. The traditional areas of celebration are, Punjab region and Rajasthan. <inaudible> Punjab region The festival is celebrated in Punjab, Haryana and Chandigarh. <inaudible> Chandigarh Chandigarh administration makes special arrangements for Tej celebration in the rock garden in the city. School children present plays and other cultural programs on this day. The female members of the family, especially daughters, are given gifts and dresses. Haryana <laughs> <laughs> Hariali Tej is one of the famous festivals of Haryana, and is celebrated as an official holiday. Many functions are organized by the government of Haryana to celebrate this festival, which welcomes the rainy season. Boys traditionally flew kites from morning to evening, though this tradition is losing its charm in big cities due to high-rise buildings and lack of terrace space. Swings are set up in open courtyards, under trees for the season. Girls apply henna to their hands and feet and are excused from household chores on this day. 
On Tej, girls often receive new clothes from their parents. On Tej, just as on Kava Chor, the mother sends a buyer or gift. The puja is performed in the morning. The buyer, which consists of a variety of foodstuffs, is placed on a thali at a place of worship where a choke square has been decorated, and an idol or picture of Parvati has been installed. The evenings are set aside for folk singing and dancing, including the women's prayers for their husbands' longevity and their families. Punjab. Tej is known as Tiyan in Punjab and is seen as a seasonal festival which is dedicated to the onset of the monsoon. The festival is celebrated by women of all faiths, and lasts from the third day of the bright half of the lunar month of Sawan as per the Punjabi calendar to the full moon of Sawan about 13 days. Tiyan involves women getting together and performing gidda, married women visiting their families and receiving gifts. It is also traditional for women to ride on swings. Fairs are organized in schools and colleges where dance competitions are held. <inaudible> Rajasthan Tej welcomes the monsoon and observed in the month of Shravan July, August. The monsoon rains fall on the parched land and the pleasing scent of the wet soil rises into the air. Swings are hung from trees and women dressed in green clothes sing songs in celebration of the advent of the monsoon. This festival is dedicated to the goddess Parvati, commemorating her union with Lord Shiva. Goddess Parvati is worshipped by seekers of conjugal bliss and happiness. An elaborate procession is taken out in Jaipur for two consecutive days on the festive occasion which is watched by people in large numbers. The Tej idol is covered with a canopy whereas the Gangaur idol is open. The traditional Geva suite is also associated with the festival. During Tej, Goddess Parvati is worshipped. The day before Hariali Tej, is celebrated as Sinjara, wherein women put Mahandi on their hands and eat. <laughs> Kajari Tej Kajari Tej is celebrated in the North Indian lunar month of Badrapad, the third day of the dark fortnight of Badrapada. Kajari Tej is also called Borhi Tej. In Rajasthan, Kajari Tej is referred to Bardi bigger Tej which follows Hariali Tej, known as Choti smaller Tej. Women in Uttar Pradesh pray to Lord Shiva on Kajari Tej. It is also customary to sing folk songs known as Kadris. The focus of the lyrics is usually on separation expressing the pining of a woman for her beloved in her parents' home, where she has been sent to celebrate Tej, or waiting in anticipation to be collected by brothers to celebrate Tej. The Kadri is a folk song composed and sung in the regions of eastern Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and in parts of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Women who observe the Kajari Tej fast go without food and water. Kajari Tej is also known as Kajali Tej, which also involves praying to the moon. The fast is broken by eating satu. The other focus of the day is to pray to the neem tree. Indica. A fair is held in Bundi in Rajasthan to celebrate Kajari Tej. Hartalika <laughs> Tej Hartalika is a combination of harat and arlika, which means abduction and female friend, respectively. According to the legend of Hartalika Tej, goddess Parvati, incarnated as goddess Shailaputri, was the daughter of Himalaya who promised her hand in marriage to Lord Vishnu, at the suggestion of Narada. Upon hearing this, Goddess Parvati told her friend of her father's decision whereupon the friend took Goddess Parvati to the thick forest so that her father would not marry her to Lord Vishnu against her wish. On the third day of the bright half of Badrapad, Goddess Parvati made a Shiva lingam out of her hair and prayed. 
Lord Shiva was so impressed that he gave his word to marry Goddess Parvati. Eventually, Goddess Parvati was united with Lord Shiva and was married to him with her father's blessing. Since then, the day is referred to as Haritalika Tej as Goddess Parvati's female Alika friend had to abduct Harit her in order for the goddess to achieve her goal of marrying Lord Shiva. Accordingly, Hartalika Tej is seen as a major festival and is celebrated on the third day of the bright half of the North Indian lunar month of Badrapad. The festival women feasting during the evening of Hartali Katij, praying to Goddess Parvati and Lord Shiva, remembering their wedding and staying up all night listening to prayers. The fast also called Nirjalavrat, commences during the evening of Hartali Katij and is broken the next day after a full day's observance which involves women not even drinking water. The focus is on praying to Goddess Parvati whom Shiva desired should be worshipped under the name Hartalika. The main areas of celebration are Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Bihar and Jharkhand. In Rajasthan, an idol of Goddess Parvati is taken out in procession in the streets accompanied by singing, and music. The Hartalika Tej festival has also spread to parts of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. The Hartali Katij was last celebrated on 12 September 2018. Hartali Katij of the North is not to be confused with Hartali Katij of Maharashtra, which is connected to the festival of Gauri Habba. <laughs> Elsewhere in India Akka Tej in Indian subcontinent Akka Tej also called Akshaya Tritya falls on the third lunar day of the bright half of Indian month of Vaishaka. It is an auspicious day of the birthday of Lord Parasurama who is the sixth incarnation of Lord Vishnu. On this day Veda Vyas and Lord Ganesha began to write Mahabharata. Jains celebrate this day to commemorate Tithankara Rishava's ending of one year fast by consuming sugarcane juice poured into his cupped hands. Akatij is observed in many parts of South Asia. AWRA <laughs> Tej of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh AWRA Tej is celebrated in the lunar month of Vaisak in parts of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. AWRA Tej is not associated with the trio of the monsoon festivals of Tej as the month of Vaisak occurs during spring. <laughs> Hariali Tej of Gujarat Gujaratis have adopted the festival of Hariali Tej which is celebrated in Gujarat in a like manner to Rajasthan. <laughs> Jalan Utsav Hariali Tej coincides with the swing festival of Jalan Leela also known as Jalan Utsav or Hindola Utsav which is associated with Krishna and Radha, and is celebrated at Bank Bihari Temple and other temples in the Vrindavan area of Uttar Pradesh. The festival lasts until Krishna Janmashtami for 13 days. On the day of Tej, idols of Krishna and Radha are placed on swings in the temples and the focus of Jalan Leela is religious. The green theme, popular in neighboring Rajasthan and Haryana on Hariali Tej, can also be seen in the Jalan Utsov. Idols of Krishna and Radha are dressed in green clothes. Hariali Tej and Jalan Ustaf fall on the same day. However, Hariali Tej is a monsoon festival dedicated to Goddess Parvati whereas, Jalan Utsav is dedicated to Lord Krishna and Radha. Topic. Kajal Tej of Telangana Tej in Telangana forms part of a wider celebration which is a forerunner to other festivals being celebrated and is known as Kajal Tej. Kajal Tej is one of the Banjara tribe's biggest festivals. 
It is quite popular in villages and thanders. It is a week-long festival. On day one unmarried girls put wheat on a small bamboo basket. On the seventh day of sowing, the festival of family is celebrated. On the ninth day, an earthen idol is prepared which is taken with all the bamboo baskets in a procession and immersed in a nearby pond or river. Kavada Tej of Gujarat Kavada Tej, also known as Kevda Trij, is a festival observed mainly in Gujarat. The festival is celebrated on the third day of the Shukla Paksha waxing phase of, moon of Badra in Gujarat. This observance is similar to the Hartali Katij Vrat. Married and unmarried women observe a fast on the day and offer Kavada flower pandanus, pine screw, to Goddess Parvati and Lord Shiva. Te or Tai Te, Tai is celebrated in Goa and by other Kinganis in Karnataka, and Kerala. Topic. Observance in Nepal of Hartali Katij Dedicated to the goddess Parvati, commemorating her union with Lord Shiva, the festival is celebrated for well-being of spouse and children and purification of one's body and soul. The festival is a three-day long celebration that combines sumptuous feasts as well as rigid fasting. Tej is celebrated by women, for the long life of her husband and long and firm relationship between them in this life and all the lives to come. The folk music and dances add more flavor to traditional values of Tej. Women in red dance and sing in the street, going to temple in holy and fasting mood. Tej is also called Haritali Ka Tej. This festival is celebrated by Nepali Hindu women all across the world. Day 1 The first day of Tej is called Darkane Din. On this day the women assemble at one place in their finest attire and start dancing and singing devotional songs. Amidst all this, the grand feast takes place. What is unusual about this day is that the feast is hosted by men. Women, who work hard throughout the year, do not have to do anything that day. That is the day for them to embellish themselves in Sora Singar. Dressing up and using makeup to the full extent, indulge in good food, and dance. Oftentimes, because women are invited by multiple brothers for the feast, they try to dance off some food before they are ready to eat more. The food served is supposed to be rich and abundant. This is probably the only day in a year that allows women full freedom of expression. Consequently, women have traditionally used this occasion to express the pains and pang in the songs they sing while dancing. With the advancement of communication and awareness, women these days use this occasion to voice their concerns about social issues and discrimination against women. The jollity often goes on till midnight, after which the 24-hour fast starts. Topic. Day 2 The second day is the fasting day. Some women live without food and drops of water while others take liquid and fruit. The fasting is observed by married and unmarried women. Married women abstain strictly from food and drinks with a belief that their devotion to the God will be blessed with longevity, peace and prosperity of their husband and family. Unmarried women observe the fast with a hope of being blessed with a good husband. They dress gaily and visit a nearby Shiva temple singing and dancing on the way. The Pashupatinath temple gets the highest number of devotees. At the temple, women circumambulate the Shiva Lingam, which symbolizes Lord Shiva, offers the praying with flowers, sweets and coins. The main puja religious ceremony takes place with offerings of flowers, fruits, etc., made to Shiva and his wife goddess Parvati, beseeching them to grant their blessing upon the husband and family. 
The important part of the puja is the oil lamp which should be alight throughout the night. It is believed that by the light of an oil lamp all night will bring peace and prosperity to the husband and family. Topic. Day 3 The third day of the festival is Rishi Panchami. After the completion of the previous day's puja, women pay homage to seven saints or sages, offer prayers to deities, and bathe with red mud found on the roots of the sacred Datawan bush, along with its leaves. This act of purification is the final ritual of Tej, after which women are considered absolved from all their sins. Recent years have witnessed an alteration in the rituals, especially concerning the severity, but its essence remains the same. Topic. Sindh The Sindhi community in India celebrate Tej which is known as Tejli. However, Sindhis celebrate Tejri on the third day after the full moon of Sawan. Topic. See also List of Hindu festivals Holi Diwali Darshan Gauri Haber